Today, I'm going to show you how to create, import, and use templates in GoodNotes 5. You could also create the templates in other programs or even buy some templates and then just import them into GoodNotes. But I wanted to show you how to do it all, creating, importing, and using the templates in just one app. So let's start with creating the template. To do that, I created a new notebook. Since I want to create a planner template that will fit the screen of my iPad, I'm choosing the size GoodNotes standard in a horizontal layout. I'm also choosing the dotted paper to have some kind of reference points for my template layout. When you are in the new notebook, you can start designing your template. I chose to design a monthly planner layout consisting of a lot of square boxes. To do that, make sure that the draw and hold tool is active and the fill color setting is switched off. After that, I'll draw my first box. You can also easily adjust the size of the box. To do that, you have to click on a line of the box. After that, those blue dots that you can see here will appear, which can be moved around to change the size. This one can then be duplicated in several different ways. Either you can select it using the lasso tool, click on copy and then paste it. The other option is to use the stickers tool. To do that, you select the box with the lasso tool again, but then click on the add element button. After that, the stickers appear. I chose to create a new collection just for my planner related stickers. You just give it a title and then click on to create. Now you can use the sticker by clicking on the stickers tool and then on the planner category. When you click on the wanted sticker, it appears on your page. You can then move it so that it fits into your layout. I'm going to do this a couple of times to create the first row of boxes for my monthly planner. When you're done with the first row of boxes, you can select all of them and create a new sticker out of that. This helps to speed this process up a bit. After I created all the boxes for the monthly planner, I'm going to put the weekdays on top of them. You could do that by writing it per hand or just like I did by using the text tool. Another thing that I wanted in my monthly planner template was some space for some notes and a to-do list. I did this by drawing some lines and a sticker consisting of a circle and a line. When you want to move things around, it might be helpful to change the settings of the lasso tool. You can, for example, choose to switch off the text boxes setting. Then those won't be selected, even though you select an area containing a text box. But also, don't forget to switch it back on when you again want to move some text boxes around. Once you are happy with your template, you can export it as a PDF. To do so, you have to click on the export button and then on export this page. When exporting your template, you have to decide if you want to have the dot grid as part of your template or if you just want to have your layout you just created without anything in the background. I prefer the second option without the dot grid. To create a template like that, you have to make sure that the option include page background is switched off. You then click on export and choose the location where you want to save it to. Once you created the PDF of your template, you go back to the main menu of GoodNotes. Then you click on the gear symbol in the right upper corner. Then click on notebook templates. Here you have the option to create and upload your own templates by clicking on the plus sign in the top right corner. Just give the new template group a name. I'm calling mine Planner. Once you have done that, you can see that a new template category has appeared but right now it does not contain any templates. To change that, click on import. Here you want to choose from files and then the location of the PDF that you just created. You can now see that you created your first template. To use that, you have to first close this menu again. You can do that by clicking on done. You then create a new notebook. As you can see, the template that you just created and imported can be used as a paper for the notebook. You can also choose a cover for the notebook if you want to. After that, you can create the notebook. I chose to change the cover just a bit, but you could also design a completely individual cover. When you now add a new page in this notebook by pulling up, the new page will have the same design or template as the recent one. You could easily create a planner by just doing that a couple of times. On those pages, you can then start planning and writing onto them. I just added January. To the first monthly template page. One thing that you can do so that it is easier to navigate around in your planner or bullet journal is to add the page to the outline. 
This can be done by clicking on the thumbnail button in the upper left corner. You then click on the small arrow underneath the page you want to add to the outline and then on Add Page to Outline. Just call it January, for example. When you then go to the outline, you can see the outline that you just created. Clicking on that will then always bring you to the monthly January page. With exactly this method, you can create unlimited amounts of templates for any purpose. I created a weekly and a daily planner page. To include them into your notebook, you have to click on the Add Page button and then on More from Templates. Here you have to make sure that you choose the same paper size and orientation that you used when importing the templates. Using this method, you can create a planner like this in just a couple of minutes. If you like the templates I created, you can download a PDF version of them. I put the link to that into the description box below. I also uploaded the GoodNotes file of my planner templates if you want to have a starting point when creating your own. I hope this video can help you to create your own templates. Have a nice day and see you soon.